how your seven answers came here, ready for the next part of the perspective, our city project. Uh, we're going to be learning today um, a little bit more advanced skills from last lesson. So we've learned last lesson about perspective, and that is when you draw a 3D, 3D object and it seems as though it's going towards uh, or away from us into the distance or something's coming towards us. Okay, so there's a little bit of depth in the picture. It's not just a flat um, object, it's something that's 3D that's been drawn. Now we could use that for letters like we did last week. We could use that for buildings, landscapes, not just cities, but we could have it for landscapes. Uh, we'll learn about proportion where things get smaller. If then the distance, if you've got a tree close up to you, in your foreground, then it'll be quite big. If it's in the distance, it'll be really small. And um, there's a few rules with proportion that we'll cover as well for the next couple of weeks. You will also need to know quite clearly about the vanishing point. So you'll see my lines go towards a point. All my diagonal lines, you'll see, go towards this vanishing point. Now, this is the furthest point that you can see in the distance. So this would apply for your cities or for if you draw a box on a table, the lines, the diagonal lines will point towards uh, one kind of point, one area, and that is the furthest point that you can see in the image uh, that's in the distance. And it will be that roads, train tracks, buildings, your objects that will lead to this point. So if you've got a photograph or a picture, you'll notice that it will lead to that point uh, if you kind of draw on the lines with your ruler. So today we are going to be developing knowledge of perspective and we are going to be drawing 3D objects going into the distance but actually we're going to make it a little bit more advanced. So today we're going to build that knowledge, we'll need a new piece of paper if it's um, a new page in your sketchbook even better, keep your work all together. You need to turn it landscape, you will also need to have a ruler, a sharp pencil, and maybe a sharpener handy nearby and then you also need to have a rubber so with your page you need to turn it landscape now if your title's up the side here that is absolutely fine you're going to be drawing your horizon line now the horizon line does anybody know what, what the horizon line is you'll need to know this later you're going to write it down later. the horizon line is where the ground meets the sky. So it's the furthest line where the ground ends, the land ends, the sea ends, the world, yeah, and then you've got the sky that meets it. So it's that line in the distance that you often see. Now it's not normally straight, but today we're going to be drawing it straight. Just for convenience, we'll be changing it up in a few weeks time. You'll be drawing a line, it could be slightly above halfway, it could be on halfway, but do not make it lower than halfway. So you're going to be drawing your line there. You're then going to draw your vanishing point. So I'm going to draw mine with a small X, small cross. So I could do it in the middle. I might do that today. I could do it slightly to the side. Okay, so from there, we're going to be drawing our road. So we're going to focus on a city. Our city is a project, so we're going to look at cityscapes. To begin with, we might want to look at landscapes later on, but we're going to start today with a city, so we're going to be drawing on a road. Now, our lines obviously come from this vanishing point. So that's for our building. See how wide you want your road to be. So that's one side. And then you need to draw the road on the other side. I'm going to press quite lightly. I might want to rub something out if I'm not sure about it later on. So press lightly. I'm then going to, so I've got my road here, I'm then going to have my buildings. So if we think about last lesson's work with the letters, we are going to be doing the same sort of thing but with a shape, not a letter. So if I want to have like a little house or a building here, I'm going to draw the 2D, the flat shape of my building here. And you can do the same thing if you want, or a 
slightly different position. Remember your sketchbooks are used for experimenting with these projects. You learn a lot from experimenting. It doesn't have to be correct all the time. It might be that you make a mistake and that's where you learn your learn the lesson a little bit. So for the corners, I'm then going to go towards that vanishing point. So you did that last week that with the letters, each corner you put towards the vanishing point and then we cut it off. So we're going to do the exact same thing for this corner of the square. Again, pressing nice and lightly, this corner line up with the vanishing point. And then this corner. Now, why do you think I'm not doing this vanishing, uh, the line from this corner to the vanishing point? Right. It's because it goes straight through the shape. We do not draw the line on if it goes directly into the shape. So we leave that one. Now, in these sections, we're going to cut it off. Okay, so it is cut off. It's not going all the way into the distance. Otherwise, that's a very, very long building. If it's a train or something, or a very long building, then fine. But we're going to learn to cut it off today. So in this shape, in this section here, the line at the end goes straight down. So therefore we're going to do the same angle of line, it goes straight down, but we're going to do it in the section. So line up my ruler so it's nice and neat. Straight down line. Okay, so then in the next section, so it goes towards the branching point here, I'm going to look at the line at the end, it goes across. So I'm then going to do a line that goes across. Line up my ruler. Okay. And there you can see the building, the house, the shop, whatever I want to make it. That is looking a lot more 3D and it's really accurate because we've used the vanishing point. And the more that you also learn from that lesson. So this is developing your knowledge really, really well. Quite an advanced story. So I'm going to rub that out neatly. I'm going to take pride in this in this work because this is this is a very neat drawing. I'm now going to do another one on this side. So if I want it to be a bigger building, I'm going to have it closer to me. So if something is in the distance, it will be up here on the road, so it's starting higher up on the page. Okay? If I have it closer to me, it's going to be lower down on the page, and it's going to be bigger. You'll see this later on when we put on street lamps. But for now, I'm going to go over what we've done just now, but I'm going to do a bigger shape. I might have a, a tall, thin building here. It might also go across the horizon line. So you can see what happens now. And it goes across the horizon line. So this is a bit more of a challenge for those that want it. So lovely tall building there. Looks like maybe flats, offices perhaps. Could just be a big supermarket. Okay, we're gonna be adding signs to it using these ones later on as well. join up to the same vanishing point as we did last week with the letters. Okay. Not this one because it goes directly into the shape. Not this one because it goes directly into the shape. But we can do this one. So it appears we've only got one section here. Obviously we can't see the horizon line behind a building. But I'm going to chop off a section like we did here. I'm going to make it a really thin building, so I'm going to chop it off quite far along. And the line that I want to draw is this angle. So I'm going to measure that line up my ruler. And I'm going to have it 
cut off there. Okay, now I can get rid of my lines. Anything that's inside that building, like the horizon line, I can rub out. that these buildings are coming together really really well. I've rubbed out my road a little bit back in earlier, draw that back in, you might have done the same. I'm then going to draw a pavement in. So let's get on with the details like the signs, the lamp posts, um, you might want to draw a bus shelter in there later if you want a bit of a challenge. I'm going to draw on the pavement, so line up with the vanishing point again. And we're going to go in this one. There we go, so you can see it gets thinner the further away it is. So the closer to the vanishing point, the smaller things are, and the thinner things become. I'm now going to draw on the road markings. So you'll notice I've been saying towards the vanishing point it gets smaller, it gets thinner. But that's the exact same thing for your lines for the road. If I want it to be accurate, I'm going to keep drawing on small lines up here. I'm going to make them a little bit longer. The further down and the closer they become. There we go. You can see how effective that is, right? We're going to need to draw on signs windows, doors, using lines from the vanishing point. So exactly as we've done before, nice and soft lines, I'm going to make the door first, so nice soft line from the vanishing point to the top of the door. Then I'm going to do straight down lines for the door, because these are the lines that are next to them. Straight down, straight down, so I'm going to make this a double door. Okay. I'm going to draw across that line that we draw, drew a second ago from the vanishing point. I'll then have any details that I want on it. I'll also have a window up here or a sign. I think I might do a supermarket or Ikea. Yeah, I don't mind what you name your whole the shops, but we do the top and the bottom of the sign. So you can see here. I'll draw that on a bit darker for you. Always line up to the vanishing point. And then for the side things, it's straight down. So your ruler is straight to your page. So I'm going to chop off the side, back to the end, so it doesn't go all the way across the building. There we go. I can even write IKEA in here, but I'm going to do it changing the height of the letters to fill that side. Okay, remember things that are closer to us get bigger, so therefore that works really, really well. Like here, okay? I could do things on the side here. If I wanted to do things on the side here, it would be parallel to these lines because this is directly facing us, it's not on the side. Um, so if I do a window or another sign here, you'll see how it is different. You might want to challenge yourself and do a sign that on top. So if I want to have my sign, this is another extra challenge. If I want to have a sign that's on top of the shops, so you need to do the top and the bottom of the sign, and then the vanishing points. Or about those lines later if I don't need them. Chop it off here. Straight lines on the sides. I will rub 
out to anything that's inside that sign that I don't need because I can't see through the sign. I need to thin them up, but really, it makes it a bit easier. And I can put in something like a little shot for me. Um, a garden centre, I might have it on stands. A little bit smaller. Okay. See that? That's working really really effectively i can rub out lines that i don't need uh, later on that obviously i've got from the top and bottom of the sides uh, that you can still see there i can get rid of that i'm going to draw on things like lampposts if you want to do bus shelters and that's obviously another challenge um then go for it i'm going to show you all how to do the lampposts because that is quite effective as well using the vanishing point so i'm going to draw another line we know that they come from the pavement so we know roughly where they the bottoms of them start but the tops of them will be touching this line here that i've just drawn on so if i draw one on here i'm going to go to, from the pavement straight up they don't they don't go at an angle in that place they're straight up go up to that line and then i'm going to go straight across Another circle in the middle. Okay, this one here, I'm going to go from the pavement again, straight up. If you want to use your ruler, go up to the straight up to the line we've just drawn on the vanishing point, straight across. You can see a circle be bigger the closer that place off. I'll do another one here. straight up, from the pavement up to the line we've just drawn on, across, I know it goes across this line here, so we need to make sure this one goes across, I'm drawing over the top of the other one but that's okay, so I'll be behind others, and then I need to make the ones that are closer to me a little bit more detailed because you can't see the detail in the distance. You can see the detail a lot better than ones that are closer to you. Okay? Now, things that are in the distance, you might have some hills, you might have a city in the distance. Okay? You can experiment as much as you want with this perspective, but you're still using anything that's on the sides or below the horizon line here, you're going to use the vanishing point here. Okay? Anything that is in the distance, we're going to draw on top of the horizon line. Okay. And then you can add as much detail as you want. Now, I don't need any colour. These will be taken a photograph of, so you'll be photographing this, whether it's with your phone or with your parents' phone. And you'll be photographing your work um, once you've finished your piece and you will then be emailing it to your art teacher. Now there is a PowerPoint on your class folder on virtual school and that shows you exactly how you can send the photograph through. Now that is your homework for next week. Any questions let me know in the live chat um, and I will see you next week.